Welcome folks to Final Fantasy World Vision. This is your daily dose of the arena. Today we have Oldoa, we have Dario and we have Kadia. We're going against bad units, so let's take a look see at what we have. We have Oldoa with Odin, uh, Muraga Vision card and uh, Ramada's Vision card. We have Dario with uh, Solidus Vision card with for slash attack resistance. And he has the Leonis castle for some more um, defense and spirit. I think I could do better with this vision card. What happens if I put like... Uh, what is that? Magic attack resistance up. Yeah, that could be interesting, but what if I put something specifically for uh, slashing units? Is there anything we can employ for that? I, I was thinking maybe we can help each other out. And uh, and nope. There is this air attack resistance five. I don't know. Doesn't look well. There is this one slash attack resistance up eight. I mean, sure. Let's do this one. So now Aldoa has a grand total of fifty-two attack resistance. Now, in the current meta, where enemies have like seventy to eighty percent. Slashing penetration. This will go down to like 10% or something. So it's like not having any of these things, but it is it is gummy, so what do you expect? So uh Kadia has Bahamut, Typhoon, and Rock Golem for some boosting to HPs to everybody. That's 20% of the base HP. Now Dario has 9.3k HP, 85 agility. Uh, Oldoa has uh, 6.7k HPs and 97 agility, 1.4k attack. If you don't break 100 in agility, you are outside of the meta scope. So we are obviously not in the meta range. 6.7k HP, Cardia, 92 agility. Now, do I want Cleric? We have Light Veil, we have Dark Veil, and we have Prong Staff. Now, this could be interesting. However, White Mage seems to be even better, so let's give her White Mage. I want her to be completely um, full-on support. Also, where is the sound? Have you seen the sound? Okay, so let's go back to full screen and let's go and fight the first enemy of the day, which is going to be a Lightning. Oh goody, I can't wait to fight this team. What is this shit? Oh, good lord. Now, I'm not fighting specifically like Earth units, also I don't think there are any Earth. Earth unit as a meta team, but it's not very well um, w widely used here as you can probably see. That is this guy, which judging by his uh, position in the ranking board, I probably doesn't have much in the way of equipment, right? Well, he's got ultra rare. I think we can, we can give it a try and see what's... Uh, What's shaking? Although this is this is bad. Look at that. 7.6k HPs. This guy. Ooh, this guy. We can try. We can see what's uh if we can beat Earth Element. Let's go. I doubt that, but hey, you know. If you want to beat the meta, you need to have the meta. Now the reason I was winning with uh, little Lila against Sephiroth and uh, with Shadow Links against Sephiroth is because those Sephiroth did not have the tr transcendence to 140. Because at 140, Shadow Flare becomes a retarded guaranteed hit, so evasion units are outside of the equation. See, the problem with guaranteed hits is that they are placed on uh, units that have uh, humongous penetrations. So, not only they can counter evasion units, they counter tanks, so they've got everything in one package. Urel doing Urel things. Courage, oh nice. Regen, okay. And defense piercing rate, because why not? Protect. Although it just kills herself, because reasons. Magic barrier, and he goes. Where are you going? Dario, where are you, where are you going? Okay, he's gonna do another buff. Missile attack up. Yes, indeed. 500 <laughs> buffs. Okay. I don't see this going very well. 
These guys have some amazing buffs, I don't see myself winning. But, the point of this video is to showcase units. So, you just cast Calamity Guard on him. Stop casting the same buff on the same unit. You dumb. Oh, sorry, auto-cure, haha. <laughs> The only time something will proc in my favor. Look at the damage. Look at the damage on a tank. <laughs> the damage on a tank is amazing. <laughs> it's like... Did Dario even exist? I don't know. It. I mean... Stop, please. Stop. Okay? So, stop. Can we have um, a raise? And he goes down because AoE is... So no, you definitely cannot win this one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the damage. The damage is amazing. Okay. Okay. What a fantastic start. So, this is the difference between... I mean, do I need to go on? Do, do I? Do, do I need to go on? Do you see the problem here? This is a win team getting owned by a Earth team. Surely you see the problem. Surely you, you you are intelligent enough to see the problem. Surely. Uh, can I not fight this team? I don't know why this team exists. Let's see. Uh, what about this one? Oh, this will be absolutely a demolishing. This is another... That you take three overpowered units, put them in a team, and it doesn't matter if the element doesn't match. They just own. They just steamroll everything. That's the problem with the arena. So the people ask me, um, can you showcase these units in the arena? Y yes, as you can see, they're absolutely garbage, dog shit. But that's because of Gumi greed to release to power creep. You can power creep maybe one or two units, but when you go so hard. Now, let me remind you that Echoes of, Ma Echoes of Mana, or Echoes of Mana, how you want to pronounce that, just closes down because they couldn't bring the money when a company starts to power creep it's a signal that they are not making enough money and that means the game sucks and the game sucks even more because of the power creep and you are invalidating the work that every single player has put into their units up to that point so now you have a Small uh, minority of people dumping money into the game, and uh, you're probably gonna close the game. So, Final Fantasy World Division is going for massive power creeps. I haven't seen a single interesting content since Selection Quest. I haven't seen a single interesting content. There is no content in this game. They're just going for every week there is a new uh, unit, more retarded than ever. No new content to sink our tits into. I'm sorry. The game is not gonna last long, so you might as well enjoy while it's last. I don't know, Esther. It's Aldoa, so probably the answer is no. I mean... So you're a cleric. Can you can you do something? <laughs> One hit KO. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, Sefi. Sure. One hit KO. Okay, bro. Look at this. Where are you going? What? Look at the damage. Damage is unreal. Like... She does 7k and the other guys do 5k to a tank. So tanks are not tanks. So tanks no tanks. Get it? It doesn't matter what you fight. With this unit, you will never beat the meta. You will never win in the arena. This is just the law of this game. You will never beat anybody in the arena. It doesn't really matter who you are fighting, why you are fighting. It just doesn't work. Reason is, well, first, the agility of this unit is abysmal compared to the latest retarded ultra units, ultra rare units. And uh, two, the piercing penetrations are just getting out of hand. Every new unit is a DPS. Every new unit has 70 to 80 percent defense and damage type penetration because that's retarded in Gumi's mind so let's 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 make everything a one hit KO move because we're intelligence and we want to um, 
have people dump money into our game, not by providing quality content and uh, rising atop the standard like Genshin Impact is doing. Yes, Genshin Impact is very predatory in its uh, gameplay form because there is a, a limited events that will disappear and will never be rerun. Um, but you can say, well, uh, the characters, uh, you have to drop six of them. No, you just need one. You can take one character, you just, just need one drop, and you can take him or her to maximum level without having to worry about anything else. Now, if you want to power up your character even more than maximum level by adding constellations, you need copies of that character. But under no circumstance you, ha you have to pull for more than one copy. So overall, I would think the system is actually very good. Now in this game, I mean, the content, the limited events are fun, like Hide and Seek, that was a PvP event. Hide and Seek is fun, as hell. Then you have the um, tower defense, and then you have other events where you add your own difficulty to it. There's a, there's a plateau every time there is an event running. This game has nothing. There's nothing running right now. There's new Yuffie event. Then what? The same PvE where with uh, with those the, all these retarded units you don't even need a strategy in a strategy game. <laughs> Can you imagine needing a, not needing a strategy in a tactics game? Can you imagine that? <laughs> I mean, that's that's ironic. You don't have a strategy in a strategy game. It's it's just, I'm, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Kadia's gonna go and kill herself, right? Yes. Oh, actually, I, the height saved us. If, if it wasn't for the height, we would be dead. Okay, you're gonna do anything interesting? Cura? Okay. That's 2.6k HPs are just gonna be amazing. Uh, Black Rose? Take your time. Take your time. Come on, Black Rose. Take your time. Level 4 Darkra. Double kill. There you go. So the, you, you cannot survive any anything. I mean, although I could take a double kill, but then comes little Lila and kills Odoa. Almost a win, almost a victory, almost. But the problem is again the amount of damage flying into the battlefield from these meta units is amazing. While Non-meta units do not possess the same amount of damage. So, and that, you could say, well, that makes sense because, you know, uh, who can, can we fight? This guy, I, I don't... What? Okay, sure. Oh, we're weak to ice. I'm just retarded. I have been... I, I'm being infected by this game, stupidity. Now I'm just fighting ice units. Oh, good gods. Anyway, as I was saying, you don't have, you don't, you, you, this game is broken. It's, it's just too broken. And as you can see, these units, which may be decent enough in PvE for Brutals, I mean, may, they just do not stand a chance against these, uh, these units. Now, they're ultra, ultra rare, let me be said, but Dario and Kadia are mega rare. But, um, nope, I'm sorry, these units, and look, I may not have the best uh, vision card, which may be the problem, I don't think it's the problem, I think the problem is with the unit kits themselves. Now, if you take a badly uh, equipped Sephiroth, sure, you can prob probably beat him, probably, I doubt, but you can probably, do. but the thing is that, if you take any badly equipped unit, you can probably beat them. But decently equipped, you cannot beat these units. Now, some buffs are completely out of out of this world. Like, uh, it's just stupidity at this point. It, it, it's just uh, there's too much on the table. You cannot have a strategy. And some people say yes, you have to manipulate the AI to cast things. I can manipulate the AI just for the arena for 5 rounds a day. For 5, 10 minutes a day I have to go through the hustle of telling the AI don't be retarded. That doesn't make sense, right? Also, why is Lastwell Dragoon? I know it's only 1 hit KO everybody. 
Look at the damage. 14k damage. 14k damage on a tank. 14k damage on a tank. Need I say more? Look at this. This, this is mentally challenged level. <laughs> this is the stupidity. How? Okay, we are weak to that element. I get it. But can you please not deal 14k damage to a tank? Look, I understand you are strapped for money, Gumi, but th 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 this is gonna break your game. How long can you t do? How long do you think you can go on putting this retardedness on, on players? Look, I have six vision. New week for the anniversary. It should be a celebration. Instead, it's like drying people of their vision. Dry, drying, uh, whatever you wanna call it. It's it's just stupid. Let's try this one. It's just stupid. This is not a celebration. This is just a random event. There's nothing celebrating about this thing. There are no events, no something special happening. Nothing. What is the anniversary? What, what are we celebrating here? Your greed for money? Is that what we're celebrating? How dumb people are for dumping thousands of dollars in a virtual game? Uh, is that what we are celebrating now? If you feel better, please feel free to dislike. I don't give a shit. Okay? The truth is you don't know how to handle your money if you're spending thousands of dollars on, on, a, on a game. You can buy a hundred games for the same amount of money. Think about this. Think about this. So, let's put these guys against these guys. Granted, these are three Ultra Rare units, but again, it goes to show you, in the arena, you will only be fighting Ultra Rare units. And you're only gonna be fighting a select few units. <coughs> this is a pretty standard team, Lightning Cloud and Charlotte, or Charlotte. Granted, you could probably sneak in a Resnick and make this very, very annoying. If you have a, a team with a Resnick, uh, Resnick is gonna keep everybody alive. And because of the high agility, she will sneak the cures in. And either Lightning or Cloud are going to... Yeah, do more damage, please. She's still alive. Amazing. Probably because she's not a level 120. Not sure a lot comes and kill... Um, Odoa. Kill our DPS. Because our DPS is very smart. Our DPS stayed in front of the fight. See? That's intelligence. Right there, humankind. Alright, so, good job, good job. You couldn't predict the fact that 2 HPs were not enough. Kadia got 1 in 8 KO by Cloud, and the tank got 1 in 8 KO. So, we've won an amazing amount of zero battles. So, this is how powerful these units are in the arena. So, guys, I suggest you go play Langrisser Mobile. That game, I swear to you, if you go play Langrisser Mobile, your starting units, like Grenier, he is a tank, he is going to survive the enemy's uh, meta. He is going to survive, he is a tank. Tanks are gonna tank in that game. Amazing, I know it's crazy, but tanks in Langrisser Mobile will be tanks. And healers will have to heal. Man, it's amazing. It's incredible. I, I almost cannot believe that a game has a tank that actually tanks, and, and unlike this game, it's incredible. Starting units, guys, starting units are still viable after what, 3-4 years this, the game was out? Viable, and actually very powerful, they can carry you throughout the, the entire game, and through events, especially Grenier. It's, it's, it's amazing how that game is actually more balanced than this game. Even though it's probably doing worse than this game. Okay, that, that game I I don't think is going well when it comes to uh, money. Uh, just, just saying, just saying, just putting it out there. You can think whatever you want, but the reality is that the new units, the meta units are just dumb. Dumb beyond any uh, human comprehension. I'm sorry. It is the way it is. So let me just uh, waste your time by doing these uh, events in the challenge bingo board. 
and then I will see you off. There you go. Or the, by the way, I have a transcended Ramada. You could have guessed that because I'm based toward Ramada, but you know, transcendence, another issue, uh, showing Gumi as absolutely zero clue and gives zero fucks about these characters. Transcendence is just the new batch of transcendent units is just retarded. It's like do you even play your own game? Do you do you even know the units you have in your own game? So, do, do you even know them? Initial AP up 20. The fuck? Attack up 20% attack up on a mega rare unit. Like seriously? What is this shit? Why? Her ability literally costs 10 AP. Like what? Obliterate? Or whatever it is. 10. You give me up 20? Do I need them? No. Ramada doesn't need initial AP up 20. She's, she's, she's a DPS. She needs to do damage. You're giving her like 20% attack. That's 60 damage. 60 attack. Sorry. What? This transcendence is retarded. And then you have Sephiroth, which gains a guaranteed hit ability and a bazillion of things. And then there is um, King Mon that gets auto healed because fucking reasons. But these characters get shit. So this is another. I like the idea behind transcendence. It's just like master ability choose. Gumi doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just. They roll a dice. I think they have a, a random stat generator that do. I think there's a bot that does these things. Oh, you need to generate new effects. Let's roll a dice and see what happens. Dread Spire Dive Enhanced. Do you know what this does? Do you know this amazing transcendence? Amazing stuff. Removes all buffs from target. And this medium damage. And lowers healing power for 3 turns. Now, can you imagine? Yes, it's good because Resnik cannot heal. Oh, la -di da now Clad is gonna insta-kill you anyway. Did, did, <laughs> I mean, do you even play the arena, Gumi? Did, 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 do you? Do you even know what's going on in the arena? Have you ever seen one of these videos? I mean, I'm not paid. I, I'm not I'm not doing this for money. I'm just showcasing stuff. Do, do, do you even know what the arena looks like? It, it's your game. I mean, seriously, what the? What, what is wrong with this company? Year one was great. The, the first, these games have a problem. They have, they start nice. They have this beautiful concept. It's a strategy game. You have need different jobs. You have a white mage. You have a time mage for buffs. You have everything set up, and then you fuck everything up because you're greedy as fuck. You're not providing even content. Like, okay, imagine this. You create new content, and uh, with this new content, you need stronger units, or, I mean, you need to power up your units. Okay, the meta units could be used as a, like, benchmark for new content. You can still clear the content with the old units, but the new meta units are just a little bit more uh, geared toward that content. I don't know, something new. Give me a reason to level up this. Why do I want to level up Rachel's? I could finish this, the water selection quest. I don't see the point. I clear Brutal with the team I have right now. I don't need anything else. Why would they want more units? There is no content. Anyway, I'm digressing and I will see you guys in the next Daily Dose over the arena. So thank you very much. If you have suggestions, may, 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 maybe some uh, build, maybe some heroes you want to try out, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.